so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> yeah! And I am so excited because we get to learn all about astronauts, planets, and maybe <laughs> we can go into outer space. Woo! <laughs> today is going to be out of this world. <laughs> and what better place to be than the Kennedy Space Center? <laughs> yeah! This is where scientists study planets, outer space, asteroids, <laughs> and they even build rockets that blast off. <laughs> well, I am so excited that you and I get to learn about space and learn about what it takes to become an astronaut. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Come on. <laughs> We're here at the rocket garden. <laughs> These are real rockets. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> Let's go take a closer look. Come on. Whoa, check it out. It's the Delta II rocket. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> Whoa, do you see it? Yeah, the Delta II rocket is 128 feet tall. Whoa, <laughs> that's a really big rocket. Do you notice anything about it? Hmm. Yeah, do you see all the way at the top? It's a shark. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Hello, Sharky. <laughs> Whoa, the Delta II rocket is an amazing rocket. It was used for missions to Mars. <laughs> yeah, rovers that would go on Mars, yeah. A rover is a little vehicle that would drive around on Mars and help scientists learn about the planet. <laughs> and the Delta II would help those rovers get to Mars. <laughs> Whoa! To get all the way to Mars, it means you need a really powerful engine. I think I see the engine now. <laughs> Let's go take a closer look. Come on. Engine of the Delta II. Do you see it? Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> yeah. This cone in the center is the engine. And one, two, three cones on the sides. Yeah, those are the boosters. <laughs> it would help give the rocket an extra boost to Mars. <laughs> Whoa. And these engines are so powerful. Yeah, they're really powerful. We call that power that helps a rocket take off thrust. Thrust. <laughs> and the Delta II has over one million pounds of thrust. Whoa, <laughs> that is one amazing rocket. Whoa, check it out. It's the Atlas Agena rocket. Whoa, <laughs> it's so big. And it's the color silver. <laughs> it's so shiny. <laughs> well, the Atlas Agena rocket had a very important job. It was a photographer. <laughs> yeah, this rocket's job was to take pictures of the moon. <laughs> and did you know, this rocket also really loved teamwork. <laughs> yeah, lots of teamwork. That's because it had two parts the Atlas and the Agena. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. In order for it to take pictures of the moon, the Atlas, the big part, <laughs> was a powerful engine that would shoot into space. <laughs> and then the Agena, or the teeny tiny part on top, would take over. Yeah, it would shoot a rover on the moon. <laughs> And then the rover, which kind of looks like a little car, would drive all over the moon taking moon pictures. Moon pictures? <laughs> yeah, 11,000 moon pictures, just like this. Or like this one. Or even like this. <laughs> Whoa, those are some pretty good pictures. 
This rocket is amazing! <laughs> Look at where we are! Planet Play! <laughs> and what better place to play than in the solar system? Whoa, check it out! It's a planet! It's Mercury! <laughs> That's one of the planets in our solar system! Whoa! Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! It's starting to feel a little bit toasty in here. Whew, it's really getting warm. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Whoa, it's the sun. <laughs> Uh-oh, the floor is lava. Oh, wait a minute, the floor is the sun. Ah! Ooh, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Come on. Whoa! Check it out! Hey, it's another planet! <laughs> and it's a really windy and chilly planet! <laughs> oh, that's because this planet is Saturn! Yeah, Saturn is really windy and chilly? Hmm, but it looks like it's missing something. Huh, Saturn normally has rings. Rings like a hula hoop! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that's because we're standing on the rings! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> So colorful. Oh, and did you know the Earth has one moon, but Saturn has 82 moons? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Look, it looks like we're on Jupiter now. Wow! And this will help power our lander. Yeah, we have our lander, but we need to give it power so we can get back to Earth. Okay, we need to use stomping power. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We restored power to the lander. Now we need to get back to Earth. Come on, I'll see you there. <laughs> Whoa. It looks like we need to visit some more planets first. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! This place is awesome! Whoa! Look at this! Whoa! 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 We made it through the planets! We did it! <laughs> I'll see you at the bottom! Bye bye! Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! We did it! <laughs> we went through the wormhole! Oh, <laughs> this place is amazing! Hey, and check it out! <laughs> we found the rest of the sun! Oh, no wonder it was so warm. The sun is so big. It's so hot and it's so orange. <laughs> hey, will you pretend to be a sun with me? <laughs> okay, it's pretty easy. First, make yourself really big. <laughs> yeah, and then we need to make the shape of the sun. Ooh, it's a big sphere, so we can make a big circle <laughs> like this and then did you know the sun has solar flares? <laughs> yeah, that means there are explosive rays of fire and light. What? <laughs> well, we can do solar flares with our arms by wiggling. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was pretty fun being in the sun. <laughs> yeah, did you know the sun is the center of our solar system? <laughs> yeah, a solar system is where planets all live together. And the sun is at the center of ours. Yeah, all the other planets like Earth circle around the sun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, 
and when planets circle around the sun, we call that orbiting. Whoa, <laughs> I'm getting dizzy from all this orbiting. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, look at this. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what I see? Yeah, these are satellites. Planets orbit and satellites orbit. Time to do the satellite dance. Woo! <laughs> Keep spinning! Woo! <laughs> I'm pretty dizzy from dancing like a satellite. Yeah, orbiting around and around and around in a circle. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder where this goes. Come on, let's find out. <laughs> Here we go! Hello! Whoa! We climbed all the way up here! <laughs> here we go! Whoa! Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> I had so much fun here with you at Planet Play! <laughs> Look at where we are! We're standing in front of the Saturn V rocket! Whoa! <laughs> it's so big! <laughs> wow, did you see it? Yeah! At the bottom of the Saturn V rocket, there are five engines! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five! <laughs> Whoa! The Saturn V rocket was enormous! and really, really powerful. <laughs> yeah, they used this rocket on the Apollo missions. Whoa, <laughs> that's a fun word to say. Have you heard of the Apollo missions? <laughs> yeah, the Apollo missions were to help get a person to stand on the moon. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, there were 17 Apollo missions. And on Apollo 11, the 11th mission, they made it to the moon, <laughs> yeah. And Neil Armstrong, in 1969, <laughs> took a step on the moon. Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that sounds so amazing. Imagine going into space, being an astronaut, and even standing on the moon. Whoa! <laughs> that is so awesome. And rockets like the Saturn V are so awesome. <laughs> well, luckily, where we are, there are all the different parts. Let's keep exploring. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. You see this? Yeah. This is another part of the Saturn V rocket. This is the command module. Yeah. Right here at the front of the command module is where the astronauts would sit. <laughs> yeah. They would sit in the front, and this is where they would stay when they were blasting off into space. <laughs> Whoa, look. So shiny. Yeah, it's really shiny and the color silver. <laughs> That's because it needed to reflect all of the sun's really hot rays. It insulated, well, basically protected the astronauts so they would be nice and safe when they were in space. Whoa, <laughs> it would be so cool to ride in the command module. Whoa, and do you see this? <laughs> Come here. Whoa, look at this. Hmm. I wonder what this is. It kind of looks funny. Hmm, maybe it's four trumpets. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> those aren't trumpets. No, oh, those are boosters. Yeah, look. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, and that would help guide and steer the command module. If they needed to go up, one of these would blast off. If they needed to go left, another would blast off. <laughs> so they could drive it around. <laughs> Whoa, the command module is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and look, it has a really big engine. <laughs> it's so big. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the Saturn V's main rocket had five engines, but the command module only had one engine, but one really big engine. <laughs> Yeah, the 
command module is how the astronauts would get back home. <laughs> Whoa, it would blast off of the main rocket, and then the very front of it would separate, <laughs> just where the astronauts were sitting. Then it would float back down to Earth once it got to the atmosphere. <laughs> it would crash land in the ocean, but because it had a parachute, everyone would be nice and safe. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out, come on. <laughs> Check it out! Do you see what's up here? <laughs> Look, it's a circle and a shield. Whoa, looks like a lot of circles. <laughs> yeah, these are the astronauts' patches. <laughs> Every astronaut that was a part of a crew of an Apollo mission or any space mission would get to design a very special patch. <laughs> and then it would go on their spacesuit. <laughs> Whoa, and they're so cool. Look at this one. This one. It has the command module on it. And look at that one, <laughs> Apollo 11. It has an eagle. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at it. This is amazing. Did you know that the Saturn V, yeah, it had lots of different parts. And when it would separate, the next part would take the crew and the astronauts further into space and closer to the moon. <laughs> Whoa! It's so amazing learning all about space and rockets. <laughs> Whoa! And I think I see something at the end. <laughs> yeah, at the very top of the rocket, there were three things. The service module, the command module, <laughs> we just saw that. And oh, the most amazing, the most incredible lunar module. <laughs> yeah, the lunar module is what astronauts would use to get to the moon. And I think I see it right behind me. <laughs> Come on, let's take a closer look. <laughs> wearing spacesuits in front of the lunar module. Oh, <laughs> whoa, those spacesuits sure look amazing. And they also look really heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you were an astronaut, you had to be really strong <laughs> and really smart. Yeah, sometimes astronauts would be scientists or maybe even engineers. And do you see what they're doing? <laughs> it looks like they're cleaning up. Yeah, cleaning up space rocks. <laughs> yeah, they're collecting space rock samples from the moon so they can study them and learn lots. <laughs> hello, hello, Mr. Spaceman, hello. <laughs> well, they're pretty busy at work. Whoa, and do you see too? It looks like there are lots of footprints on the moon. Oh. Well, the moon, it's not like Earth. When you make a footprint in the sand, it stays there. <laughs> yeah, there's no wind or breeze like at the beach. No, when you make a footprint, it stays there for a really long time. <laughs> and it looks like these two astronauts made lots of footprints. Whoa, <laughs> a lot of them. Whoa, and do you see the lunar module itself? It's amazing. <laughs> hmm. Something looks familiar. Yeah, it's all the boosters. You see? <laughs> the boosters on the lunar module, kind of like the command module, were used to steer it around. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and the lunar module also had a really big engine. Yeah, mm, kind of hard to see but it's right there in the middle of the lunar module. This would help it descend, <laughs> which means go down. 
so it could land on the moon, and that engine helped it ascend. Which means it made it go up, <laughs> off the moon. <laughs> Whoa! And the lunar module was amazing. It had so many other parts. Yeah, do you see down here? The orange reflective material? <laughs> well, behind the orange is where they kept materials and supplies that they might need or for any experiments. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Oh, and look right there. Do you see it? <laughs> That's the door that the astronauts would come out of. Yeah, they would climb through the door and down the ladder to the moon. <laughs> Whoa, this is pretty amazing learning all about the Apollo missions, the Saturn V astronauts. <laughs> I sure wish that one day we can meet a real life astronaut. Hmm, maybe we can ask him questions. Maybe that astronaut had an amazing experiment, or maybe they needed to repair something? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but it sure would be amazing to one day be an astronaut and to blast off into space. These are amazing! <laughs> yeah! When an astronaut goes into space, they can't wear their normal clothes. <laughs> they can't wear their orange and blue suspenders and shirt. <laughs> no! They need a spacesuit because there's no air in space. <laughs> it helps them breathe and it keeps them protected. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this one! This one looks like it's made out of fabric. Yeah! The color's white and gray. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this spacesuit! <laughs> this one looks really cool! It's made out of metal! It looks like a knight with a suit of armor! <laughs> well, this one looks really cool, but might be kind of hard to walk in that spacesuit. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> look at this one! It looks like an accordion! Whoa! <laughs> Have you seen someone play an accordion before? Yeah! Kind of sounds like this! <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it looks like this one would be a lot easier to walk in. Huh, whoa, come to think of it, there are a lot of spacesuits. <laughs> yeah, that's because the people, engineers, and scientists making spacesuits, sometimes they would make a suit and go, I think I can make this better. So they would practice and make lots of suits. <laughs> it's kind of like if you play a sport or a game and you try the first time, it might be kind of hard. But if you practice, you'll get a lot better. <laughs> Whoa, and look at it. Whoa, it's an actual spacesuit from an Apollo mission. Oh, 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 this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it looks very easy to move around in and walk so they can walk on the moon. <laughs> Definitely sounds like these engineers and scientists got a lot better by practicing. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it would be so cool to get in one of these suits. You see, yeah, you would strap in here and you have a little bubble helmet <laughs> to keep the air in so you can breathe and different tubes and nozzles so you can move around and also get lots of oxygen to breathe. <laughs> Whoa, this is pretty amazing. <laughs> must be here at the Astronaut Hall of Fame! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Did 
you know that some people go to space for their job? What? <laughs> that sounds like a really fun job to me. Yeah, people who go to space are called astronauts. <laughs> wow, and check it out. <laughs> there are so many astronauts in this room. Yeah, they've done really amazing space missions. <laughs> so they're here in the Astronaut Hall of Fame. <laughs> Well, I really wish I could meet an astronaut in real life. That would be awesome. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's a person back there. Maybe they can introduce us to one. Come on. <laughs> hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Bruce Melnick. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Bruce Melnick. Well, we've had a lot of fun learning about rockets and astronauts. Do you think you could introduce us to an astronaut? That's going to be real easy. I'm an astronaut. No way! Did you hear that? Bruce Melnick is an astronaut! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, that's amazing! And are these astronauts too? Yes, they are. These are all the Hall of Fame astronauts. Matter of fact, that one right there was the pilot on my first flight. Wow! That is so amazing! <laughs> I can't believe I am standing next to a real-life astronaut! <laughs> well, Bruce, was it amazing going up into space? Oh, it's the greatest ride in the world. <laughs> You're laying there in your back, and when the boosters light off, it's just a rough, loud, wild ride. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. Do you, does it go really fast when you take off? Well, when you first take off, it's fairly slow, but you're already going 100 miles an hour when you clear the top of the launch pad. Whoa, 100 miles an hour? Whoa! <laughs> and then eight and a half minutes later, you're going over 17,500 miles an hour. <laughs> I can't imagine going over 17,000 miles in a space shuttle. <laughs> That's so fast. <laughs> it's so fast that it only takes you an hour and a half to go around the Earth. Whoa, did you hear that? Whoa, one hour and a half? And every 45 minutes, you're seeing a sunrise or a sunset. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing! It takes me a whole day to see a sunset. <laughs> but if you're in space going really fast, you see one every 45 minutes. Mm, <laughs> that's amazing! <laughs> it's really cool. And when, of course, you're on the dark side, you see 10 times more stars than you do when you're on the surface of the Earth because there's no clouds in between you and space. Wow, that's amazing! I love looking at the stars. <laughs> so going to space, you can see even more stars. Wow, <laughs> this is so amazing. Sounds like I want to be an astronaut, and it sounds like you do too, and we can go to space! Uh, but first, Bruce, what is the first thing we need to know about being an astronaut? The very first thing is, is do the best you can in school. Okay, <laughs> we can do that. The second thing is to be a very good person. Oh, well that's easy. <laughs> we'll just be a good person. <laughs> and what's very important is to be very adventurous. Whoa, adventurous? I love adventure! <laughs> yeah! You want to be an astronaut when you grow up, you need to do well in school, be a good person, and be really adventurous! <laughs> well, I think we will definitely go to space someday soon! <laughs> well, thank you so much, Bruce, for teaching us all about space and being an astronaut. <laughs> well, it was my pleasure, and you have a lot more to learn here at the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> okay, well, let's keep exploring! <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye! <laughs> Wow! I can't believe it! We got to meet and talk to a real-life astronaut! <laughs> that was amazing! Well, I think there's a little more exploring for you and me to do. Come on! <laughs>
We can use the Flippy Mobile to go to space. <laughs> Let's climb inside. Check it out! <laughs> I can't believe we get to blast off. But before we make it to space, we need to go through the atmosphere. Hmm. I'm going to need a rocket booster. <laughs> OK, let's count down to liftoff. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! the sky across the galaxy i will fly being an astronaut is such a blast exploring the universe flying so fast One small step for Blippi, one giant leap for Blippi kind. <laughs> wow. <Ooh. laughs> well, the moon is pretty amazing. Yeah, pretty cool here. Oh, did you know that the moon goes around the Earth? <laughs> yeah, and the Earth, the Earth revolves around the sun. Whoa! <laughs> and all the planets that go around the sun are part of our solar system. Yeah, and there are eight planets in the solar system. <laughs> you know the planets in our solar system? Yeah, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, 
Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. <laughs> yeah, eight planets. They are very different from Earth. <laughs> hey, why don't we explore all the planets, learn how they're all unique and different. <laughs> Whoa, but hmm, I think I have just the thing to help us get to all the planets. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Oh, the Blippi Space Pack. <laughs> yeah, and it has a rocket booster. Whoa, <laughs> okay. I think we're ready to go and explore all the planets. Blippi Space Pack Rocket Booster, go! Whoa, look at me go! Whoa, whoa, check it out. It's Earth. Hello. <laughs> yeah. That's where we live. <laughs> Earth is a pretty amazing planet. Yeah, it has everything we need. Air, water, food, <laughs> and our family and friends. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon, Earth. Yeah, we're gonna keep exploring some more planets. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! We're on another planet. Hmm, this planet is really small and it's the closest to the sun. It's called Mercury. <laughs> and Mercury is really sunny and really hot. Yeah, because it's so close to the sun, we definitely want to wear sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get a sunburn on Mercury. <laughs> Good thing I have some right here in my space pack. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, not gonna get a sunburn now. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Woo! Whoa, look! <laughs> a volleyball! Yeah, this volleyball is so lightweight. Yeah, gravity is different here. So. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, look at that! Whoa! When I let go of the volleyball, it floats away! <laughs> Whoa! Here we go! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> hey, that gives me an idea. If the volleyball weighs less on Mercury, maybe I weigh less too! <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, it's so bouncy here. But after all that bouncing, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> oh, well, good thing I can take a rest right over here. Oh, look, it's a beach chair. Ooh. Mm, a tasty drink. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like pineapple. Whoa. <laughs> that is one tasty drink. Oh, well, I already put on my sunscreen. Just need, whoa, check it out. <laughs> Some blippy shades. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so relaxing here, oh, but it is pretty hot. So <laughs> good to have a cold drink. I could get used to mercury. We made it to the next planet. Whoa, and this planet is really, really hot. <laughs> yeah, this planet is Venus. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, it's the second planet from the sun. And it's not as close to the sun as Mercury, but it's way hotter. <gasps> Whoa, yeah, this planet, <gasps> it's really hot. <laughs> I think that's because this planet is covered with lava. <laughs> yeah, have you ever played the game, The Floor is Lava? It's a really fun game, but it's just pretend. This planet 
The floor is lava! <laughs> I don't want to step in the lava. Lava is really, really hot! Woo! 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 <laughs> yeah! The lava here makes rivers! Whoa! Like a river of water, but it's a river of lava! <laughs> Whoa! Woo! <laughs> don't want to go swimming there! <laughs> yeah! There are volcanoes all over Venus, and the lava shoots out of the volcano! <laughs> yeah! And when it goes down the side of the volcano, it turns into different kinds of rivers. Underneath a volcano, there's something called magma. Yeah, it's really hot, and it's kind of a liquidy thing. <laughs> yeah. And then when it explodes out of the volcano, it's called an eruption. Woo! A volcanic eruption! <laughs> yeah. And then it goes down the side of the volcano, and it's lava. Yeah. You don't want to touch that. <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! Yeah, the gravity is also different on this planet, too. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that was pretty fun. Aww, <laughs> this baby volcano is so cute! Hello! Ooh. Well, I don't think this volcano is going to erupt anytime soon. Yeah, this volcano, it's probably dormant. Yeah, that means a volcano will not erupt. <laughs> yeah, it's just being here nice and cute. Yep, you're really cute. <laughs> well, good thing it's not going to erupt, because if a volcano erupts, you don't want to be anywhere near it. Yeah, it can be dangerous. Whoa, look, there's steam. Uh-oh, maybe this volcano will erupt. Ooh, <laughs> need to stay a little bit away from it. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Whoa, whoa, <gasps> it's erupting. <laughs> whoa, it's getting really hot in here. I think it's time to move on to the next planet. <laughs> Looks like we're on another planet. Hmm. Good thing this planet doesn't have any lava, but it also doesn't have water or forests like Earth. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty rocky planet. It's very red. Hmm. There are a lot of craters. Hmm. <laughs> I know what planet we're on. We're here on Mars. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Whoa. Hey, look, it's red sand. Whoa, <laughs> ooh, yeah, this red sand is just like the red sand on Mars. Ooh. Check it out. Oh, do you know what this is? This is a Mars rover. Whoa, these are really awesome. <laughs> yeah, scientists use Mars rovers to collect information so they can study a planet. <laughs> yeah, ooh, look. It has six wheels. One, two, three, ooh, four, five, six. Yeah, six wheels. <laughs> That's really important because Mars has lots of bumps and hills and craters. <laughs> yeah, also as a satellite. Yeah, so that it can communicate with Earth. Yeah, <laughs> if it collects information or maybe rock samples, or maybe even takes a picture, it needs to be sent back to Earth. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you see what's on the back of the rover? Ooh, yeah, blue and black panels. <laughs> Those are solar panels. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, this Mars rover doesn't take batteries. <laughs> no, it's solar powered. That means it gets its power from the sun. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Well, oh, take some of this sand. Take the sand and our Mars rover will make some samples for it to collect. Yeah. And some rocks that it doesn't want to hit. <laughs> oh, one rock. Two rocks. Three rocks. 
more rocks. Whoa. And oh, maybe Mars was hit by a really big asteroid. <laughs> yeah, an asteroid is kind of like a rock, but it's huge. <laughs> and it's flying through space. <laughs> Whoa, maybe we can make another one. Whoa, this one's even bigger. <laughs> Look at it go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and on Mars, the Mars rover ride around. <laughs> it would find rock samples and then pick them up <laughs> so that scientists can study them and learn what that planet might be like. <laughs> kind of like what we're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little rover. <laughs> Aw, <he's> so cute. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Aw, you're welcome. Whoa, Mars is a pretty amazing planet. Hmm, and I've been noticing something. Yeah, a lot of these planets are different from Earth in one way. Yeah, they have different gravity. Whoa, on Mars. <laughs> Whoa. It's also so bouncy! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Hey, I have an idea. Will you bounce with me like it's Mars? Okay, let's pretend by using our imagination that we're on Mars, bouncing around. Here we go! Mars is a pretty cool planet, but there are so many others to learn about. Hmm, let's go find another one. Okay, get ready for the next planet. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Pretend to be Jupiter with me? Okay, first, move your arms out like this, and then be really big! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, Jupiter is really big, but you know that Jupiter is not made of metal, or ice, or Earth. No, it's made of gases. Yeah, hydrogen and helium. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! It's called a gas giant. <laughs> yeah, because it's so big and it's made of gas. Hmm. And because Jupiter is really big, it has a moon. But not just one moon, it has 67 moons. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of moons. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. That certainly is a lot of moons. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Hey, look. It's a little Jupiter. Hi, little Jupiter. Oh, hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, I'm fine, but I'm missing my red spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> little Jupiter is missing his red spot. That's because Jupiter has a big red spot on it. Hmm, maybe we can find it somewhere. Oh, here it is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Flippy. <laughs> yeah, see, the red spot right on Jupiter. See you later, little Jupiter. Bye-bye, Flippy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, on big Jupiter, there's a red spot too. 
It's huge! <laughs> yeah, it's so big because it's a really big storm. All those winds and gases, whoa! <laughs> makes a really big red spot. It's kind of like a giant hurricane. <laughs> well, this is a pretty amazing planet, but I think it's time to move on to the next one. Okay, let's helicopter to the next one! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> we made it to the next planet! Whoa! This planet is also really, really big. <laughs> it's called Saturn! Yeah, but Saturn is not as big as Jupiter. It's the second biggest planet. <laughs> and it has 82 moons. Whoa, that is a lot of moons. <laughs> yeah, Saturn is also really, really bright. Woo! <laughs> yeah, if you were to look up at the night sky on Earth, you wouldn't need a telescope to see Saturn. It's so bright, you could see it. It might look kind of like a star. <laughs> Whoa! Let's play a game. Yeah, with this game, we're gonna need to use our imagination. <laughs> let's play Sink or Float. But let's play Sink or Float with the planet Saturn. Hmm. What do you think? Will Saturn sink or will it float? Whoa, <laughs> no way. Check it out. Saturn floats. <laughs> yeah, Saturn does not weigh a lot at all. It's not very dense. So, if you took Saturn, yeah, the planet, <laughs> and you took a bathtub, just a bathtub, <laughs> and you put Saturn in the bathtub, it would float. But it would certainly need to be a big bathtub. <laughs> Woo! And Saturn has a ring. Yeah. Whoa. Kind of like this hula hoop. <laughs> yeah, it has a ring of ice and rock and asteroids that goes all the way around the planet. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Woo! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Looks like we have some hula hoops here. Maybe we can make a really big four-ring asteroid field around me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Asteroid field away! Woo! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I need a little more practice. <laughs> Whoa! <Ooh. sighs> Whoa! It is really chilly here. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold. It's so cold, I'm freezing. <laughs> That's because we're on the seventh planet from the sun, Uranus. <laughs> so far away from the nice warmth of the sun that it gets really cold here. <laughs> yeah, don't think I would want to live on Uranus, but it's nice to visit. <laughs> hey, can you think of someone that might want to live on Uranus? Hmm, they probably love the cold. <laughs> yeah, a penguin would like to live here. Hmm, will you be a penguin with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> waddle, waddle, waddle. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I like pink penguins. They're so fun! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, yeah, it's really cold here, but did you know that Uranus has seasons? Yeah, but it's a little different from seasons on Earth. Uranus has summer, winter, spring, fall, but instead of lasting only a few months, each season lasts 20 years! Oh, that's a really long time. <laughs> but the seasons aren't that different. It's always still pretty cold. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, so cold that there's snow cones. Ooh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, and look, there's snow cone syrup. Whoa, look, it's the color blue. <laughs> Whoa, not only is blue one of my favorite colors, but Blue is the same color as Uranus. Yeah, because it's so cold, it's blue. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Blueberry. 
This is one tasty snow cone. I almost forgot to say, there's something really unique about Uranus. Yeah, instead of rotating or spinning like a normal planet, it's on its side. <laughs> Maybe because it bumped into another planet. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa. My other snow cone. Woo. on the eighth planet from the sun, and it is really chilly here. Oh, I feel like an ice cube. <laughs> yeah, also kind of dark. Oh, that's because Neptune, the planet we're on, is really, really cold. It's made of ice. I think I need to put on some warmer clothes before my teeth freeze. <laughs> Looks like there's some clothes over here. Let's go put them on. A ski jacket, one hat, two hats, three hats, a scarf, another scarf, and some gloves. <laughs> I'm dressed nice and warm now. <laughs> it's okay, we're on a really cold, icy planet, hmm, but I'm nice and cozy and warm. <laughs> yeah, Neptune is really cold, but did you know that Neptune, it's not the coldest planet, that's Uranus, but it is the furthest from the sun. Hmm. <laughs> that's kind of like Mercury. Yeah, Mercury is the closest to the sun, but it's not the hottest, that's Venus. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> hey, and did you know that Neptune is also the color blue? <laughs> yeah, it's the color blue and has some gas on it too. <laughs> well, it's pretty dark and it's pretty cold here. I think it's time we make it back to the moon. I think I need to go back to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> Can you name all the planets? Mercury is the littlest planet. It goes around the sun in just 88 days. Venus is so bright and beautiful. Earth is the next one, our home sweet home. With breathable air and water too. Mars is red and we want to explore it all. Today. 
and so many amazing things. We got to meet a real life astronaut, saw rockets, <laughs> we learned about all the planets, and we got to explore space. <laughs> hey, where should we explore next? Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> here we go. Five, four, three, two, one! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Come on, everyone, let's make learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout.